Hey guys, it's me Levon, Loaded Operator 7, and today I am, well, I am done splitting some oak, uh, and I had a whole bunch of, I believe this is maple, and I got some Douglas fir in there as well. I had to get some of the stuff out of my carport area so I could park my damn car. <laughs> so, uh, a couple of the upgrades that I've done to this uh, log splitter, uh, before I ever used it, I built this little, um... This little tray slash it's more of a protecting barrier you have a uh a hydraulic pump down there and you have a hydraulic filter and uh if you are working and a piece of wood slips down here between the the piston and your work area because this is the only little thing that you have working on this side this is the working area uh you can have a bad day because that's a high pressure hose and if that piece of wood hits that just right, you're going to have a big mess on your hands. So build this little protector. All it's doing is it's covering your pump and your hydraulic fluid, uh, your hydraulic filter. So that's a definite must. I actually built this before I ever even operated the thing. And I'm glad I did because it was a heavy piece of oak that actually did fall out here and it slammed into that area. Um, which would have probably been on the axle, but still, it just goes to tell you that um, just don't take any chances. And uh, I was going to build a, um, um, a stroke limiter on this, but to be 100% honest with you, I'm not. I'm just going to put a piece of wood over here, and that's going to limit my stroke. Uh, super easy. I don't have to go drilling any holes, which originally that's what I was going to do. I was going to build a little bridge across here so that when the back of the piston hits it, it would pull my lever back and stop it short. But I figured, you know what, I'll just put a block on the end and that will give me my 16, well, 18, because I want a little bit of room, uh, 18 inches. I, I, I cut all my pieces at 16 inches, so... Second upgrade that I would do is I would add an hour meter and uh, just to keep track because if your life is as busy as mine, I got a nine-year-old and I got a five-year-old and I'm a chauffeur and I'm a full-time dad and all that stuff. So I added an hour meter. I'm not really sure where I want it yet. Uh, they're very simple. All you got to do is wrap the cord around the spark plug line like that. I ended up just tucking the... Uh, the end of it into the sleeve over there and then you run a couple of zip ties around it and it'll pick up on the signal I mean there's no electrical connection to it it's just a piece of wire just gets tucked in underneath there and it picks up the signal so yeah definitely I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route it just the way I had it like that um, that way I'm far away from the uh, muffler the hot area I'm going to just run it right along here and right along here. i got some black duct tape that I'm going to duct tape this wire to. And then maybe I'll just 3M double-sided tape the thing to the to right there. But yeah, um, two things that you definitely should have. I also have an extra level, so I keep that little magnetic level with this thing just to make sure that the um, the engine is sitting level and the fluids are sitting level, the hydraulic fluid and the pump and whatnot. So yeah, those two upgrades are definitely a plus. Um, yeah, if you're thinking of doing a stroke limiter, um, just don't even waste your time. Just get a piece of wood, a block, and set it at the desired length that you want at the very end, because this has an automatic detent uh, where if you have it backwards, uh, and it gets to the very back, it automatically pops this into neutral again. So instead of having to drill things here, I'm just going to put a block at the very end. And that will um, limit the amount of stroke that it will have and how far it's going to go. But yeah, so those two, <laughs> I would have liked a bigger gas tank on it, but that's fine. I guess uh, I'll just have to do with that. But yeah, hour meter and definitely build that little protecting shelf on the other end to cover your hydraulic pump and your hydraulic filter. And there you go. A little five minute quick update on uh, my new hydraulic splitter. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, questions, comments, please leave them below. Share and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.